chicken noodle soup with onion soup mix is something that I've wanted to try for a while now. Onion soup mix is a favorite ingredient of many southern home cooks. If you watch my videos regularly, you know that I use it in a lot of my casseroles. So one day I had the idea of adding onion soup mix to chicken noodle soup to see how it would work. I think it would be really easy to make and delicious, so come along as I invent a recipe. When you make homemade chicken soup, you can start with store-bought chicken broth and rotisserie chicken, whatever you have on hand, but as you know, whenever I make chicken soup, I like to start off by making my own chicken stock. Here I have a pot with some water, I'm going to need some more. And here I have my vegetables. I really don't have a strict quantity as to how much of everything I use, but I usually use the equivalent of one large yellow onion, one large carrot, one large stalk of celery, maybe a little more, three cloves of garlic, and three bay leaves. And now for the most important part of this recipe, the chicken. I am using one and a half pounds of chicken leg quarters. Honestly, I think you could probably use pretty much any cut of chicken, but I would recommend using dark meat because I think it holds up better when it's boiled. I actually prefer chicken leg quarters over just legs because I feel like the additional collagen and connective tissue adds to the broth. But like I said, I think that this recipe would be pretty forgiving. As you can see, I took off the skin and a lot of the fat because I want to cut down on the calories just a little bit. Besides, at least in my opinion, I think that boiled chicken skin doesn't look really good. So even if I did leave the chicken skin on, I would just take it off later anyway. So why not just take it off in the beginning and save some calories? Although I think that making homemade chicken stock by boiling the chicken along with the vegetables is best, if you're short on time, you could definitely boil the chicken, whatever cut you choose to use, in store-bought vegetable stock. My recommendation would just be to add one or two bay leaves because I think bay leaf adds a ton of flavor. I added more water to completely cover the chicken with probably about half an inch to an inch of water. I turned the heat on high, it's been about 10 minutes, and as you can see, it's now boiling. There's also some foam, some impurities that have risen to the top, but I am going to skim those off. If you do not skim, it's not the end of the world, so do not worry. I just like to skim it off. And I think it probably does remove a little more of the fat. Now that this is at a strong boil. I'm going to turn down the heat to low, guess mark two out of six, and I'm going to let this simmer for at least an hour, maybe an hour and a half to two hours. Now that I've put the chicken to the side and I've strained the stock, let's really get to making this chicken noodle soup with onion soup mix recipe. As you can see, I put the homemade chicken stock back into the pot and then I added three large cloves of garlic. One or two should be fine, but I really like garlic, along with one medium onion, both finely chopped. You could just finely mince the garlic, but then I remembered back to my broccoli cheese soup recipe that I did recently, and how I crushed some of the garlic. So I put some of the garlic into my garlic press, and I press it into the soup, I think it's going to be really interesting to have four types of garlic. The whole cloves from the stock, the minced garlic, the pressed garlic, and then some garlic powder that I'm going to add later. So this comfort food will definitely be good, not only for keeping you warm on a cold winter night, but also for keeping away the vampires. Now that my garlic and onions have been cooking for 10 minutes on their own, I'm going to add the carrot and the celery. I'm going to cook these for 10 minutes. And then I'm going to add the 
egg noodles, the chicken, and the soup mix. I got busy with something, so the celery and carrots have actually been cooking for about 15 minutes instead of 10. I actually added a little more carrot because I felt like there wasn't that much orange in there. So I would go with one large celery stalk and one large carrot. Now it's time for the seasonings before I add the egg noodles. Here I have my one packet of onion soup mix. I'm going to add that now. Although I do think that this would be absolutely delicious with just the onion soup mix, I am going to add my other usual chicken soup spices. I add spices plus onion soup mix when I make casseroles, so it makes sense just to add other spices to the soup as well. Here I have half a teaspoon each of salt, black pepper, garlic powder, like I said, this will keep away the vampires, onion powder, and a quarter teaspoon of poultry seasoning. I may or may not add some parsley, we will see. Stir that in. And now for the noodles. Now I'm going to add six ounces of egg noodles. As I showed in one of my previous recipes, egg noodles seem to expand more than regular pasta does. So if you did want to use eight ounces or half a pound, you could, but just be prepared that you might end up with a very noodly soup. And as you can see, there's not enough liquid in the pot to cover the noodles. So now I'm going to add more water until the noodles are fully covered. So I actually ended up adding six more cups of water to the stock after I added the egg noodles. I turned the heat on the high and I brought it to a boil and now I'm going to turn it down to medium again. I tasted the noodles and they're almost done. Probably just two more minutes and this will be done for me. So in 35 to 40 minutes your chicken noodle soup once you have the chicken cooked and the stock strained, can be done. As you can see, I have the chicken off to the side. So I am going to start adding that now because like I said, the noodles are almost done. And just as I had anticipated, just a few minutes later, and the noodles are done. I added all the chicken and basically, once all the chicken was in the soup, it was done. I am going to turn the heat down to low now so it can cool off a bit. And then I am going to serve. This is full of chicken, full of noodles, full of vegetables. It's flavorful from the onion soup mix. It's going to be great. The soup definitely looked and smelled really good, so I couldn't wait to try it. Honestly, my chicken noodle soup with onion soup mix was good. It was just how chicken noodle soup should be. Warm, soothing, and comforting. With a combination of chicken, vegetables, and noodles, it was definitely filling, but not too filling. So it would be perfect for when you want a good meal but you don't want to feel stuffed. In terms of the flavor, it was definitely oniony, but not in a bad overpowering way. I could definitely taste the onion soup mix along with the other spices in the background. Although this was definitely good, in all honesty, I preferred the chicken and noodles that I made recently with the evaporated milk. Don't get me wrong, this chicken and noodles was good, but it was not amazing. And in all honesty, I think the reason why it wasn't amazing was that I was trying to make this healthy. If you look at a lot of chicken noodle soup recipes, you will see that people do things like boiling chicken with the skin on, which adds a lot of calories. And sometimes people even add butter directly to the soup. Although I've never added butter directly to soup, 
I think that it would be really good because when I make my chicken and dumplings recipe, the dumplings that I make have melted butter in them. So as the dumplings break down, they release some of that butter into the broth, making it absolutely irresistible. Even though I didn't add butter directly to the chicken and noodles that I made with the evaporated milk, the extra fat in the evaporated milk probably added to the flavor. So in short, this chicken noodle soup with onion soup mix recipe was a success. It was easy, delicious, comforting, and filling. And as you can see, a sprinkling of dried parsley added a nice bit of color and a bit of extra flavor. And although the onion soup mix definitely did add more flavor to this, because I was trying to be healthy, this was good, but not life-changing. So if you're looking for a healthier version of a classic comfort food recipe and you're looking for a way to add more flavor after you've taken out some of the calories, definitely give this recipe a try. It would be great when you're trying to cut back after a holiday or something like that. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.